everyone! So I've made it to the airport as you can see. Um, I haven't even checked in yet. I just thought I'd shoot a quick video because just look how pretty their airport actually is. It's not even like you're in an airport. Um, but I wanted to shoot a quick video to just express how grateful I am for this opportunity I had over the past four weeks. Um, I know I said I was meant to stay in Bali for a few months, but once I found out what you had to do to get the visa extended after the 30 days, um, I just realized that that process wasn't for me. So <laughs> I didn't go through that. And I've also got my boyfriend at home who I'm really excited to go back and see. So that's another reason I'm heading home. Um, but the reason I wanted to shoot a video is because usually people come to places like this as a holiday to escape their lives back home and they just come to relax and have a few days off and then they have to return to their reality of jobs they don't like and bills they don't want to bills they have to pay jobs they have to go to to cover those bills and things like that um, and they're not really enjoying their time here because they've constantly got in the back of the ma their mind, oh, I've got to rush back, I've got this going on, I've got that that I have to return to. So, and I know that that's how most people feel because that's how I used to feel when I was on these sorts of holidays. It was always not even a relaxing sort of thing because you're constantly thinking, oh, I've only got two days, I've only got three days, I've, only, I've got to squeeze so much into this short amount of time that I've got. And so in the end, you don't even really enjoy your time away, which is just not a nice way to be living. And so it got me thinking because I'm actually not sad to be going home today. Like there's parts that I'm sad about. I'm really gonna miss the people that I was living with because they're awesome. And we've gotten really close <laughs> over the past month. So I'm definitely going to miss waking up and hanging out with them every day and just being around people that I work with and understand what we're all doing together. So definitely, definitely going to miss that. But I'm also happy to be going home because I've got so much to look forward to while I'm there. I'm not returning to a job I don't like. I've got so much more to focus on when I get back. I'm, I'm really excited excited about all the things I have to do and I've got a plan of attack for the next few months and then I've got Vegas coming up at the end of October and a little parting gift that I got before I left um, was that I've now been invited into our leadership team so I'm actually going to be one of the leaders at our event in Vegas and I'll be passing on my knowledge and being able to train people there. So I said yesterday that my main goal this year was to quit my job. Well, now my goals have just gotten even bigger. Like I've got so much more to achieve this year and I'm just I'm so blown away by how much has happened to me in such a short time and I really just wanted to put that out there and express how grateful I am to have had this opportunity and to have come across these amazing, amazing people that have just changed my life. Like, you don't understand how much that my life has actually just changed in such a short amount of time. and. I don't think I can ever express how grateful I am for that. So I just wanted to put that out there today. And anybody that has been following my journey, if you want to do something like this, don't think that you can't because I didn't have any special skills. I didn't know what I was doing. I just had a dream and I just believed that it was going to happen and I never ever gave up. And as long as you've got those things and as long as you've got the right mindset and the right attitude and you join the right people, then you can absolutely do this as well. Um, I'm going to go check in for my flight now. So I will speak to you again when I'm back in Perth. See you all soon.